Okay, so we're going to take up quiz 1.1 right now. And the first question was, even functions are symmetric about the x-axis, true or false? Well, this is an example of an even function. And you can see it is symmetric, but it's not about the x-axis, it's about the y-axis. So that was false. Number two, the function negative 3x to the fourth plus 1 extends from quadrant 3 to quadrant 4. So the quadrants, uh, well, x to the fourth would look something like this, but because of that negative there, our function actually looks something like that. And if we remember our quadrant numbers, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, and the red does extend from quadrant 3 to quadrant 4. So that's true. Next question, the graph of a quartic function can have exactly three x-intercepts. Well, here's a quartic function, and this one has four x-intercepts. But, if I move it down just a little bit, now it's got one, two, three x-intercepts. Well, that means that this is false. Sorry about that. It is false. It can have exactly three x intercepts. Alright, the next question is um, which equation represents a function that extends from quadrant 3 to quadrant 1? Well, quadrant 3 to quadrant 1 would look something like that. So that would mean that it's a x cubed. And that's what that looks like. Um, the function 6x blah 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 is linear at which part? Well, you can see that linear means degree 1 and that x-intercept right there is degree 1 which means it's linear at x is 0 because negative 6x or sorry, 6x causes the x-intercept of x is 0. Um, <coughs> which of the following is a symmetrically even function? Well, symmetrically even means that we can plug in negative x and get the same function back. So if we have a quick look at d, um, what we have is uh, we're going to plug in negative x instead of x, and what we're going to up with this is what we're going to end up with. And now we just need to manipulate that so that we try to make it look like the original function. Well, that negative sign and the negative x cubed can definitely come out front because negative x cubed is still negative. And then in the bracket, I can have a negative and I can basically factor out this negative and this negative because of the odd exponents, it's still going to remain negative. So that means that I'm left with that. And now I've got two negatives multiplying, which are going to make a positive, And this is what I'll end up with. And that's actually exactly the same as f of x. And that makes that function even. Um, the least possible degree of the polynomial, which is in the diagram, is... Well, the least possible degree is one more than the turning points. And since there's three turning points, that would make that degree four. Um, state the intervals for which the graph is positive. Well, first, let's find all the parts on the graph that are positive. There's this part and that part right there. And now if we look through all the lists, we're looking from negative two to zero and from one to positive infinity. And that's what C describes. All right, number nine says uh, the constant fifth difference was negative two, and we wanted you to uh, state the degree and state the end behavior. Well, the degree has to be five because the fifth difference is constant. And the end behavior, well, that two right there is negative. Normally, an odd 
an odd degree polynomial is going to look something like that. But because of the negative 2, it doesn't look like that. It actually looks like this. And that makes the end behavior as x goes to negative infinity, y goes to infinity. And as x goes to positive infinity, y goes to negative infinity. So the next one, um, we have... Um, so first we have a part where... Uh, x to the fourth is stretched vertically by a factor of three. So we're going to get that from this three right here. Then it gets reflected in the x-axis. That's a vertical reflection. That's caused by this negative right here. Then it gets translated six units down. So that's going to be minus six at the end. And one unit to the left. So we get x plus 1. Now, one thing that people completely left out was the fact that the original function was x to the 4th. And that means that we have to have that exponent to the 4 outside of the x plus 1. The plus 1 has to be attached to the x because it's moving horizontally. And we get that exponent of 4 because that's the original function. Um, the next part was determine an equation in factored form from, for the polynomial with uh, degree 2, 0 at 2, and then some other zeros. So the first part we have to recognize is that there's an x-intercept at 2. So x minus 2 is a factor. Then we have to see that it's order 2, so that makes it squared. Then we can see that there's another x-intercept at 2 thirds, and another one at... 3. And then we have to think about, well, what's the a value? What's the leading coefficient? So I'm just going to put an a there, and then I'm going to call the function f of x. And then we got to pay attention to, if I'm missing a, I must have one other piece of information. Well, that 1 over 6 is going to do it. So all we need to do is plug in 1 over 6, uh, sorry, 1 comma 6, so x is 1, y is 6, and that's how we're going to figure out a. So we sub in 1 for x, and we also know that instead of f at 1, we can use 6 because that's the y value. And then we just need to solve for a, and we eventually get to a is negative 9, and that gives us our function, negative 9, and so on. That's one possible answer. Uh, some other answers might have included you simplifying this, uh, which is fine as well. Uh, if you had simplified this, then another possible answer that you could get is negative 3x minus 2 squared, um, 3x minus 2, and then x minus 3. So that's another possible answer. Uh, this was the other option that you had, and it was to uh, determine an equation using this graph. So the first thing that we notice is that there's an x-intercept at negative 2. So that means we have to have x plus 2, and it has to be squared because the behavior here is um, that it doesn't go through the x-axis. It touches the x-axis, but doesn't go completely through. So the next part is that we see there's x-intercept at 1, and so x minus 1 is a factor, and because it goes through but uh, has a point of inflection, we call the exponent cubed. And I also have an a value, which I'm going to have to try to figure out. Um, so in order to find that a value, we're going to use that point right there, negative 2. So we'll just sub that in. The y value is negative 2 and the x value is 0 because it's an intercept. It's a y-intercept. And then we simplify, multiply 4 by negative 1 and we get a is 1 half. So there's our function right there, 1 half x plus 2 squared, x minus 1 cubed. And the last question, given this function, describe the following characteristics. The degree, because we have 2, 2, and 3 is 7, that's an odd degree function, because 7 is odd. The leading coefficient is 3. The zeros are, x minus 4 gives us a 0 of 4, uh, and we also have positive 1 and negative 3. The number of turning points, I'm going to say there's a maximum of 6. 
Um, but we can also wait until we draw our graph. So we'll leave a blank there as well, to be more precise. The y-intercept, we just have to sub in x is 0. And the end behavior, because it's a degree 7 and a positive leading coefficient, it's going to have end behavior that looks like that, which means as x goes to infinity, y go sorry, negative infinity, y goes to negative infinity, and as x goes to infinity, y also goes to infinity. So that looks like that. Now we can start drawing. Uh, because of the x plus 3, we have an x-intercept at negative 3, and because of the cubed, that's what it behaves like. Then we also have an x-intercept at positive 1, and that's what it looks like. And we have an x-intercept at positive 4, and that's what it looks like. And now we just have to fill in the blanks like that. And there's our graph. The one thing that I really want you guys to start doing is labeling your axes and calling them x and y. All right? So that's one important thing that a lot of people missed out on.